Hello viewers, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hima Subramanian. Today's recipe is a very special South Indian pressure cooker mutton biryani. Now the term biryani itself makes all of us drool. So let's not wait. Let's see how this is made. So here I have about 1 kilo of mutton that's been cut up uh, for biryani. You can see the pieces are quite large. To this, I'm going to first add 3-4 teaspoons of turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons of chilli powder, a teaspoon of salt. So first I'm going to rub this masala to the pieces and let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. For this biryani, I'm going to grind uh, a masala, 6 shallots. These are small sized garlic cloves, so I'm using all of this. 1 piece of ginger that's been cut up, 2 green chilies about six red chilies two whole teaspoons of coconut a few mint leaves a few coriander leaves this is all for flavoring and one teaspoon of coriander powder so add a little water and grind the masala we need to get it into a nice fine paste add about two tablespoons of ghee and one tablespoon of oil i'm going to add some cinnamon cardamom a few cloves and some bay leaf i'm going to add four medium sized onions that have been finely sliced. So brown the onions to a lovely golden brown colour. Now I'm going to add three medium sized tomatoes that have been chopped. The masala paste, this is about three tablespoons, I'm going to add that. So you can see the masalas come together beautifully. Start adding the mutton pieces. So you can see the meat pieces are all coated with the masala, seasoned with salt. In pressure cooker mutton biryani, I have used 3 cups of long grain basmati rice. So for 3 cups of rice, I am using 3 cups of diluted coconut milk. So those of you who don't want to use coconut milk, you can just use water. Now, coconut milk is an option, I use it to get an extra flavour to the biryani. I am going to add a handful of coriander leaves. Handful of mint leaves. Pressure cook for about six to seven whistles till the meat is tender. Check and see if you need more salt. Now I'm going to add a little salt seasoning because I'm going to add rice. You need to have a little salt while cooking the rice as well, otherwise, it can become very bland. The meat is cooked beautifully, the flavours are great. Keep the flame on low. The last and final step to the biryani is to add the soaked basmati rice. This has been soaking in water for about 30 minutes. I've washed it off. Close the pressure cooker, wait for the steam to come and then place the weight. And then cook for about 7 minutes. After you turn off the stove, don't immediately open the pressure cooker. Let it sit for about 5 minutes and then you can open it. The biryani is done, it's cooked perfectly, you can see. So there you have this absolutely delicious mutton biryani, South Indian style. So do try it and enjoy it with your family and friends. Have it with a little raita or any other side dish of your choice. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram.